A new study takes a deep dive into the brain activity of teenagers. It shows how they're affected by spending hours on the internet each day. We also have an update on what lawmakers are doing to regulate social media companies. Health reporter Gillian Neff with more. What's happening in a teen's brain when they're online for hours? The study in the journal PLOS, Public Library of Science, used neuroimaging to monitor teen brain activity to find teens on devices for excessive hours each day have disrupted signals between brain regions that are important to controlling attention and their working memories. The findings are similar to the ABCD study by psychiatrist Dr. Chandra Shripada and others who say understanding the internet's impact on our brains is a first step toward getting guidelines in place to keep adolescents from getting hooked. If you know what the markers of vulnerability are, you can prevent an individual um, by intervening in the interim. This issue is part of a bigger debate in Washington, where two bipartisan bills aim to protect kids online. Predators can exploit or target kids. And for kids who struggle with mental health, Social media can magnify their anguish. One bill focuses on improving privacy. The second requires social media companies to provide better protections for minors, including giving guardians more control and limiting features like autoplay, which plays videos that users may not otherwise click on. The technology companies have brainiacs that they've hired. That's all on one side. And on the other side, you've got a teenager, and the competition is not fair. Doctors say since adolescents' brains are still developing, too much time online can lead to problems with mental health, relationships, day-to-day -day functioning like starting and finishing tasks, and sleep. Doctors say teens need 8 to 10 hours a night. If you'd like a look at the whole study, just go to our website, news12.com. I'm health reporter Gillian Neff, and that's your News 12 Health Report.